yes my dear friend welcome back to the channel it is a win finally it doesn't matter how the win came about right that is what we always say well my dear friend this game for me personally i almost gave up i almost gave up at the last minute but i have some questions in my mind to ask whatever you are watching from this is salon's blog i'm welcoming a very special way yes we won on penalties 4-2 Four two. It was a game on edge. It was a game that you can you couldn't. I know, I know. Are you watching me? You couldn't rest. <laughs> Likewise, myself. I gave up. I was like asking my guys, how am I going to prepare this next video? Why am, how am I going to analyze this game? Is it going to be the same story every now and then? Every time the same story. Is it going to be the same? Oh, we played very well. We had a possession, but we couldn't score the goal. And it is true. First half, over 70% possession, yet the goals were not coming. Second half, we had a possession, yet the goals were not coming. What exactly can you tell me is the problem with Chelsea right now? I need somebody to help me out. I have been trying to analyze these games. And the days, the time, the days ahead, before our next game against the uh, uh, is it Wolves or so? I think I think it's Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, yeah. I'll be ana we'll be analyzing more. What exactly is wrong with Chelsea? Is it the the, the 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 inexperience that is disturbing us that we cannot kill games in first half? Look, one thing that is certain is that we have a depth in squad. We have depth in squad. Now. This is why I would like to ask you a question. I want you to answer me in the comment section. Do you think it's Pochettino status that is winning this game or it is the depth we have in squad that is winning the game? Because the players he brings on board in second half, last 15, 20 minutes, normally they do change the game. <clears throat> it is the players that he brings on board that normally do change the game. So the question, another question is, why didn't he start with those players? We need to analyze this game carefully. I'm only raising this question so that maybe in the consequent episode, we'll try to analyze it and answer those questions. First of all, is it a player that he brings on board, Pochettino, that will change the game? Or it is his tactics that will change the game? Or it is the players themselves, the team, the squad? In that last minute, we saw that in our last game, and today we saw a similar thing. Well, moving away from that, finally, finally, Nkuku is back. We saw Nkuku. Even though he did not influence the game that much, yes, as expected. But he came in, his presence alone matters a lot. His presence got the, the defense of, of, of Newcastle shivering. The few touches that he had, we saw it. One of the flicks that he did, he, he, he made, one of the back flicks, you could see clearly this is a player with a lot of talent, ability. I'm happy to see Nkuku back on the field of play. And not just that, scoring the penalty with all the pressure at the, at the away fans area. The penalty was taken at the away fans area. We saw Nkuku delivering his penalty perfectly. For me, it is a confidence booster for him. He came on the pitch. He touched the ball at a few times, at least seven or eight times. The nice flicks that he did, yes. Even though there was an opportunity where he could have scored, but the ball, I think Raheem Sterling passed to him was a bit too, you know, too fast. So he couldn't get a ball at the right, you know, quickly. But in all, in all, for me personally, as his first time on the pitch of play at Stamford Bridge, it's average. It is. It is in Kuku. We saw him. He gave the defense of Newcastle. If you watch carefully, there were almost like two, three players always around him. He never had a, had a clear space. There was never a clear space around him to do anything with the ball. I'm raising this thing so that you now watching me, you understand how the game went. Then when he got to the goal, the equalizing goal on the 90, is it 91st, 92nd minute? 92nd minute the game was almost over like i told you i have almost given up 
just one mistake by three players. Was it, a, it was a mistake because that ball, he could have cleared that ball out. He could have had that ball away. I don't know what he tried to do with the ball. And the ball, uh, Modric from nowhere, running from behind. Modric was just in at the right time. He rushed from behind with a speed and got his leg to it, heading to the goal. Modric, Modric, Modric. You can say all you want to say about Modric, but he's giving us the opportunities. You can do, you can say anything you want to say about him, but each time Modric comes into the match for the past few three games that he came in, he always creates some opportunity. He might not be the perfect player yet, yes, but he gave us the equalizing goal, very expensive one, very expensive one. We were almost out. Trust me. Let me know from you in the comment section. Modric, he came in at the right time and he delivered when it needed most. The equalizing goal. Those we had chances like that earlier on. We had chances. There was one chance that Nicola Justin got. He nearly scored, but then he just missed up by a little. I wouldn't blame Nicola Justin for that miss anyway. Because the way he turned, he started everything was perfect. The turning, the touch, everything was perfect. The only problem was that he couldn't direct the ball well, a little, just a little better. For him, he, he, the goalpost, he nearly he saw it. He saw it. He nearly buried that ball into the net. Unfortunately, he just missed by an inch. Then coming to the penalties. Yeah, yeah, we've got a man for the penalty. <laughs> we've got a man for the penalties. In fact, as a matter of fact, it was even the Kopama's penalty that got scared most because he was the first to take the penalty. Kopama was the first to take the penalty. And we were taking the penalty at the away, away, away fans area. The away fans, they were on us. When the toss was made, you could see clearly that even Galaga wasn't happy after the toss because what he chose, he lost the toss. He lost the toss, and so we had to take a penalty at the away fans area. And Galaga wasn't really happy about it, but it already happened. So we had to. It, is still, it was still Stamford Bridge, but that area was the away fans. And so when Kopama was about to take the penalty, you could see all the away fans on him. And he got himself relaxed. I was, if you watch him carefully, he tried to relax. He tried to take it easy. He, he tried as much as he can to make sure that the game will not, you know, the, 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 the chant, the shout will not affect him psychologically. He made sure he tried to calm himself down before taking the penalty. And he did. Even though it was so close, the goalkeeper. It was so close. The keeper got a direction. He died. It was so close. But it got buried into the net. Then from there, the rest were just, you know, my goodness. My goodness. We won. What else do we want to say? Finally, before I let you go, I will come back with Analysis of the game. This is my reaction. This is post-match reaction of the game. I will come back with the analysis later on to, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, before you, by the time you are sleeping, you get my analysis early in the morning, get my analysis of the game. But as it stands right now, we'll be getting the coach's post-match reaction as well. As it stands right now, Petrovic, goalkeeper Petrovic. Petrovic saves. Moedric. Deliver and Petrovic save. Moedric delivered and Petrovic save. Petrovic saved that last penalty. You could see the dive. And he got it saved. His confidence in goal post, this guy, he is going to make this position his, his, his position. Sanchez will have a tough time coming back, if I'm not mistaken. Listen, that goal that Newcastle scored, it was just by mistake. It was the, an error, an error by, is it, by the Shelley. That caused that goal that Newcastle score. Just that one mistake. And since then, there was never been any major, apart from some missed passes we were making. We were doing some passes that were not going direct, that Newcastle players were blocking. We were like more like a long passes. Chelsea, well, we are in the semis for the EFL Cup. Our next opponent might be, I think, Fulham or so. Let me leave you here. You need to take a rest. Enjoy yourself. We shall see in the next episode of more analysis.
and then post much reaction from our coach. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.